Welcome to the Mad Trio Podcast. This week, we have the California Pariah, Jonathan Charney, James, the Fat Man, Stevens, the American original, Heather Charney, my sister, and Brianne. Who doesn't get a cool nickname? Yeah. Apparently not. I, what, do you, what, what do you want the nickname to be? I can give you one. I don't know. Fucking chop liver, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that? Uh, the Brie against humanity? And take off of your favorite card game? Oh, sure. Um, that is a fun game. I have some of them, not enough of them. There's so many. So <laughs> just to get out of the way, Mr. Viagra, Bob Dole passed away today or a couple of days oh, ago. Really. He did? He huh. did. Oh, Bob. Which, which is weird because I was oh. re- reading online that more people know him apparently for Viagra commercials and he was a, uh, a World War II hero. A Congress, uh, Congress, congressman, uh, future possible president, and then a spokesman for a, a pill. I did not know he did Viagra. So. Did he really? I, for real? I'm almost positive he did a Viagra. A Viagra. Um, well, hard-ons <laughs> are much more important than any of that other, you know, crap. <laughs> I mean, they are vital to the survival of humanity. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so my my favorite story of all time right now is there's an Iowa class battleship. Think of uh, the Missouri. That's an Iowa class battleship. So this was the USS Wisconsin, mm. and Korea. A Korean artillery battery hit the ship. The first time the ship ever took damage. Mm. And it has, uh, I think the Missouri, I think they have eight, eight or 16 guns. And so they turned all the guns on this little hill and fired at the same time, annihilating everything on the hill. And after, uh, after, after it did it, uh, one of the United States ship, uh, you know, drove by and on this, on, on the radio, on the air, it said temper, temper and drove right away. (laughs) Oh my gosh. I, I thought that was hilarious. Just the fact that a battleship said, you know, what? fuck you, you're gone. Yeah, I do the same shit. It, see, it threw a tantrum. Yeah. It did. Well, it's not a tantrum, it's just uh, defending yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, yeah. a full blown battleship versus a couple of Koreans throwing artillery shells. I'm not quite sure if that's self defense. Yeah. They're throwing artillery shells at you. Those are projectiles that can hurt you. <laughs> they, they can, indeed. So, why? That's true. They're still, find- an issue with it. They're still finding thousands and thousands of rounds of uh, used artillery at all over France and Germany mm. from World War II. Yeah. Well, if you, I mean, that's not surprising. James and I know a, no. James and I know an older fellow. I don't remember whose family member he was, but he talked about as a kid finding one of those German potato mashers and taking it home. Mm, potatoes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really good. Oh, man, I really miss potatoes. It's like serious, baked yeah. potato. I mean, I'm sure there's unexploded artillery all over Europe. You know, they've found stuff in the past that just got, they buried and built over, and then they, like, go to create new buildings and, like, dig up bombs and crap. It, it doesn't help that Europe has a tendency to get themselves in trouble. Usually it's all the Germans' faults. I mean... Or French. Yeah. Yes, blame the French. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Always blame Thanks. the French. <laughs> we surrender. My ex is French, so... I mean, I, I have a legit right, of course, <laughs> to blame the French. James is like... How much I'm French? Like, like uh, a quarter? Like Korea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That explains yeah. a lot. Except he got the part. That explains a lot. Except he got he got the he got the bitchy French. He got the the the, the, the French. Aww. When when we were in France, as uh, much younger, we mm. sat at a cafe and this 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 little girl, she was probably twenty, sent down this this the the water bottle and said, "Here's your water, stink!" And she as she hit the table, water started squirting out of the top. It's like, gee, thank you for the rain. <laughs> That is a yeah, really a stupid American. story, John. No, it's approving my point. It's hey, really, really stupid. Take your water and go away. Yeah. You know, it's funny because apparently it's universally true. You ask other Europeans, 
The French are nice. Parisians are dicks. <laughs> I've, a, I've that's asked other French that. That's what I've heard. I just don't have any desire to go to France. Like, of all the places in Europe, that's just not on my list of places that yeah. I want to go. There's some really beautiful architecture in France. And there also is the Louvre, which is incredible if you love art that at all. Cool. But other than that, you're not missing much. <laughs> Uh, Mont Saint Michel was really cool. Oh, Mont Saint Michel was, they, yeah, actually, that was it, it, freaking amazing. Mont Saint Michel, yeah. how do you say it? Mont Saint Michel. Uh, it it reminds me of like a storybook castle. Yeah, and it and the tide the tide will come in, and you can't really get into it. And the only time you can actually go up to this whole area is when the tide goes out. It's just really neat. I, I read later on that there's a lower parking lot, but they warn you the only park during certain hours yeah. you, you may not get your car back. <laughs> it's like they lock it. Or they might have people like kill it and sell it. Maybe it. Sounds like it's more because of the tide. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but there's no access when the tide comes in. I mean, yeah. it's. That's why they lock it. I mean, it's not like parts of Sacramento. Feel it right when the tide goes up. It's not like nature's, parts of nature's walk. <laughs> it's not like parts of Sacramento that you leave your car and you go out to do something, you won't get it back. Oh, yeah, I'm in car broken into twice in Sacramento. Well, but where in Sac? Sac's huge. I mean, where are we talking here? Uh, uh, I mean, I got my car stereo by. stolen from my driveway in Orangevale, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they stole my mini butterfly that I had in high school. The cars used to get broken into when I lived in in Roseville in one of the newer neighborhoods at the time. Cars would get broken into all the time, but every time they would actually catch somebody, it was always somebody from SAC. And they would come into the newer neighborhood and just, like, steal everybody's car stereos. <laughs> now, instead of taking the car stereos, they're going after the catalytic converters. Yeah. Yeah, the Odessin have had nonstop issues with that out at the shop. If they have to leave cars parked outside. They get as many cars as they can inside, but all the shops over there, they're always having people hopping up from, like, they, they park. It's like they know where all the cameras are, so they park out, like, uh, away, and then they walk in and, you know, sneak, oh. sneak around and get as many as they can before somebody shows up and... It's ridiculous. It's so frustrating. Yeah, it's awful. The most amazing thing about that is how creative. I've seen like stories and pictures on the internet where these cars are slammed incredibly low to the ground. Like you may have a problem getting a jack underneath it and somehow they managed mm -hmm. to steal it. Like my first vehicle, you could have walked underneath and just took the, the catalytic converter off. Yeah. No kidding. It's like, oh hey, this is yeah. nice. Yeah. The truck was huge. Oh, it was such a great car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be really easy to get your just jack put to your car out, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, getting, you know, in and out of it would be an issue for me. Like, I can barely get in and out of Dustin's truck, and it's not even that high. <laughs> and I, was gonna say, I, don't think, I don't even think in my wheelchair I had it, that many issues getting in and out of your truck, son. No, I so think... That's pretty creative. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. I don't think I ever... I don't think I ever rode in it, actually. Huh. Yeah. I, I miss I okay. miss that truck. I do not miss the seven point five miles per gallon it got. Not with five dollars a gallon here in California. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I so I found a product review I want to read because it's it's it's. I, I sent it to somebody. I might have sent it to James, but I thought it was funny. It's like, this product is really good. I had to use it when a bear came at me. Unfortunately, I panicked and pointed the nozzle the wrong way and sprayed it directly in my face. Maybe it was the sight of a 280-pound man screaming and crying like a little girl, but the bear ran the opposite direction. All in all, good product. I would have liked to know how it worked on the actual bears, though. So the product was bear spray? Bear spray, yes. Bear made. So pepper spray, basically. Yeah. Isn't it, it's it's a yeah, higher maybe. it's a higher form of it, isn't it? I don't think it's higher. I I don't know. I have some. I'll have to test it on you sometime. <laughs> nah, test it on James. I mean, if you're gonna do it, do it right. James has a high level of pain tolerance. I don't. Yeah. Now there's certain. Um, I think there's certain. I don't know what you call the levels or whatever that you can actually buy from a store. And certain ones, like you can't buy like police grade pepper spray as just a civilian. Hmm. Um, so it's probably not 
quite that couldn't strong. You, couldn't you make your own yeah. with like, you know, like scorpion pepper or whatever you call it, that call it that super hot pepper that people can't eat without soiling Carolina themselves? Reaper. Yeah. I mean, you probably wouldn't even eat anything that hot, really. You get some cayenne in your eyes and you're going to be crying. Oh, yeah. You get jalapeno mm-hmm. juice in your eyes and you're going to be crying. Mm-hmm. I got black pepper in my eyes and it was like basically being like me. Ouch. I squirted jalapeno juice directly into my eye one time. I don't even know how I did it. I took a bite of the jalapeno and it squirted directly in my eye. Oof. Oh, God. That was very painful. <laughs> I thought I had a ton of stories saved up, but I don't. So if any of you have a... Well, Bree's on here, so I'm going to bring this one up. Okay. So let's talk about worker who's been a manager for 20 years. Just quit because he says customers have gotten unreasonable and hard to deal with. Yeah. And that's how I don't find a lot in the food industry. A lot of people are leaving because of this shit. Never mind. I haven't had too many issues at work, but I don't, I'm I, not a leader and I don't have to deal with the customers very much. I would say all, all service industry. I know when I worked at uh, Walmart, I, there's been multiple times that I was threatened to be beat up and a coworker, somebody threatened to sh- uh, shiv. One of my coworkers. Yeah, I mean, Shift. things have never been prison? great. Apparently. Right? <laughs> things have never been great as far as being in the service industry. I mean, it's been a really long time since I worked, you know, food or retail or anything like that. Um, but, I mean, I definitely had customers make me cry. I've definitely had to threaten to call the police on people. I've had people smash their food into the counter. I mean, crazy stuff. But... I mean, there's, you know, there's, you look at anything going on in our society and people are just becoming more and more entitled and workers are not putting up with it. And so the people that are willing to actually put up with it are generally the people who don't give a crap. Yeah. So it's just going to keep getting worse because they don't care. So they're not working very hard. Like my biggest yeah. issue that I have is everywhere I go, everybody's shorthanded. Nobody wants to work at these, you know, menial crappy jobs. They'd rather not work at all, which is kind of sad to begin with. But then you go in there and the people who are working, they have no sense of urgency. They'll just let the phone ring and ring and ring and they'll stop what they're doing to answer it. It's like I used to take orders on the headset, do make food and answer phones. And like nobody seems to know how to multitask anymore. Yeah. at all and the people you know so there'll be a line out the door and people are just moving at a snail's pace it's like don't you want to get your lobby cleared don't you want to get the counter like get people on <laughs> oh, a lot of what you're encountering is a lot of people that are overworked too for sure they and that a is... lot of hours and covering shifts because you can't find any workers or like you just yeah. said, we're short staff, so everyone's working like a lot. And by the time you know, you know, fucking right out the door, you're like, "Fuck this shit." Or, I get that, but yeah, I still bust my ass and get it all done and get the right. get them all out of there because I want to go home at the end of the day. Or <laughs> I yeah, would, I mean, be over. Or I, I would. Add, I just get frustrated. Or I would add, like, I you're try. one of the few people who are actually working your ass off because uh, you. Um, you know, you have pride in what you do. I know for, for Walmart, by the way, not making crap for the Walmart workers. I, I totally understand why you, you do that as a former Walmart worker. But, you know, I had pride in what I did and, and, and how I do it. And just the fact there were people who were super lazy there just used to drive me absolutely batty. It's like, why are you here? Yeah, I mean, I think as, as an adult, like, you know, surly teenagers are what they are, but like, you know, not every teenager has the crazy work ethic that I had as a teenager because a lot of the teenagers don't have to work, you know, they get to work or whatever. Um, but like as an adult, you may not have the job that you want, but you got the job that you got and you should be doing it to the best of your ability. Yeah. The problem is, is there's not enough staffing right now to fire anybody for screwing up. Like you can't, there's, it would take so much to get fired right now from a job because there's oh, no yeah. one to replace you, yeah. you know? So people just don't have to make an effort. They don't have to try. They don't have to care. And I mean, that just seems to be the whole way our society is going. And I mean, I go out of my way to be as nice as I possibly can to anybody that I encounter when I'm out and about doing whatever it is that I need to do, you know? And it's so weird to me. Like I go through a drive through and then grumble, grumble, grumble. And I'm saying, have a nice day. Oh yeah. You know, whatever. 
like, I'm not getting paid to be nice, but you are. Like, I've actually gone through a drive through before and had the guy at the window not say a single word to me. Wow. It was the weirdest experience I've ever had. Not hi, not here's your food, not have a nice date. Like, literally just looked at me, handed me my stuff, and walked away. So they could have told it was so awkward. They could have told you to fuck off. At least it was communicating. I mean, they could have said something. <laughs> wow. It was so weird. I just couldn't even imagine, you know, like we used to get reamed for not repeating people's orders in the <clears> drive through <throat> you know, right. like, and there's times if I put in a big order, which I mean, there's three of us, my order is not that big. Come on. But like, if I go through Taco Bell, yeah, I might get like nine things. Please just read it back to me. So I know that you got it. Or if I, you know, get something altered, if no onions or blah, 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 or whatever, like read it back, confirm, because half the time it's wrong when I get up there and I'm not going to go back in and fix it because it's just not worth it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like we okay. we would get reamed if we didn't read back people's orders and it takes two seconds to just read it back, make sure you got it right rather than however long it takes to fix the problem later and pissing people off. And, like, nobody cares. Even, like, managers. Managers won't even read back the orders. Like, they do the absolute bare minimum. And, I mean, I get it. You're a minimum wage employee. But, you know, uh, there's a reason why, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sure. And I've... I'm sure it's going to piss a lot of people off that I just said that. But, you know, if you, true. It, yeah, if you want a more than a minimum wage job, then you need to have more than a minimum wage attitude. I mean, I yeah. ne- I've never worked in the food service industry. It blows. Uh, uh, amazingly. But I, 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 one job I'll never forget just because it was one of the jobs that you, you don't screw with the people. Um, like I worked at Hollywood video for about a year and a half. <laughs> and I remember people throwing movies right. at me, which I always thought was funny. It's like, okay, I'm going to remember you. And then I used to give them bad, like they'd ask for a movie and I would purposely make them rent really shitty movies. It's like, if you're going to dick to me, you're going to be watching altered States. Um, <laughs> Which I did. Like, oh, did you want to rent Freddy Got Fingered again? Here you go. (laughs) Exactly. I I did things like that to multiple people, and they they went rent back to me. It's like, oh man, that movie I rented last week was so awful. It's like that person didn't know what they were talking about. It's like, oh, I I uh, next time I see said person, I'll let them know. It's (laughs) it's like I I don't get it. You should have them watch the '96 Crash movie with James Spader. (laughs) I missed that one. Oh God! You haven't seen Crash. How do you go? No. That one Bree. <laughs> Sounds like it's okay that I didn't see that. There's, there's, there's some movies like I watch nowadays just because it's like nostalgia cheese. You know, it was a yeah. shitty movie then, and it's still a crappy movie. But now it's like I, I appreciate how shitty it is. Yeah. Like the original like Punisher Lundgren. with Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. It's a very bad movie. <laughs> I know that was come out. <laughs> oh man. That I love David Lynch's Dune. I actually need to watch the original Dune. I have, have not had time to actually sit down and watch it. Yeah. What, what, what was that? <laughs> so I've, I've done a, a traumatic childhood. I, I did a little reading just to see if I could do that. And apparently there's a nude scene in there. And the last thing I need to explain to an almost, you know, the, uh, four, almost five year old is it's like, daddy, why is that? Never mind. Yeah, that's okay. It's like, you know, I watched Howard the duck like some years back. <laughs> I love that. Movie. And I remember watching that movie as a kid and I'm watching this movie and thank God I watched it before I watched it with Sienna. She's not seen it. Because I was like, I totally remember watching this as a kid. Like, I'll rent it and watch it. And then I looked at it. I was like, huh. Why? How? I was not allowed to watch anything as a kid. How did I get my... How did my parents ever let us watch that movie? Who knew the whole movie was about foul sex? <laughs> Literally. And thank you for the pun. <laughs> yeah. It was so gross. And like, what the hell? And with, with, I have yeah. Blu-ray. You want to watch it? <laughs> so, it's just funny going back and watching <laughs> things that were okay before PG-13 was invented. You know, back when we were kids, there was no PG-13. There was PG and there was R. And so PG, you got away with a lot in the 80s. Oh, yeah. It was even before then, too. I don't remember which one it was. It was all kind of spaghetti western that had like a, 
almost full nude rape scene in it. Yikes. I think it was the Outlaw Josie Wales. Maybe it was mm-hmm. that one. Maybe. And that one was rape. Well, so, or like Poltergeist. What is that? Poltergeist P- got a PG rating, which is why really? we all saw it and were scarred as children. <laughs> My, my my other it's favorite. Funny. I actually read a whole Chucky, article Chucky about that about how how hard they pushed for that PG rating, <laughs> and so people were just dropping their kids off at the movies. Oh, it's PG, it's fine, and we have a whole generation of terrified people <laughs> <laughs> from watching Poltergeist. The the one that always amazed me was movies. I don't think it's just one of the guys, but it's other eighties movies where there's there's like full on nudity, and it's supposed to be a kids movie. And next thing you know, this chick's removing her shirt. And I remember yeah, boobs everywhere. As a kid, it's like, oh, cool. As an adult, I'm like, how the fuck did any adults let me watch this movie? Dude, uh, sixteen candles. I don't know if I've ever seen that oh. one. Sixteen candles, and she goes in the locker room, and. <clears throat> I don't know if there's full out boobs. I can't remember. But I feel like there are like full on like boobs in that movie. Oh, I don't remember. Like, because she's, you know, doesn't have any boobs. And so she goes in the lost room and she's like comparing herself to the popular girl who's, you know, 30 in reality. <laughs> and I feel like it shows her full on boobs, but I, I don't yeah. remember entirely but yeah there's stuff like that like they got away with some crap that you're like dude <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. what do you yeah. mean now i'm now i'm gonna give look it a pg up. rating <laughs> now i'm looking up to see what this this one movie i'm thinking it is but i don't remember hold on one second or revenge of the nerd Oh, yeah, I love Revenge of the Nerd. I loved that movie as a kid. You want to talk dirty. Yeah. That was, that was <laughs> Hold on, both of you guys are breaking up. It's on boob. So the, the movie I was thinking of, just one of the guys is PG-13, oh. and it came out in 85. Hmm. I wonder, I, I think it's entirely possible that they changed some of the ratings at some point, too. Um, but I, I I do agree. It seems it it seems like uh, that type of stuff was more like okay, like like nudity was okay, but violence wasn't as okay. Now it's the other way around. Like nudity is no, but yeah. you can watch somebody be decap, but you know, get their head removed, and it's a PG movie. Yeah, so I guess PG thirteen was created in nineteen eighty four. Oh wow. Um, and I, Poltergeist was one of the reasons why, I believe. When was that made? 82? Oh, damn it, Mark. Yeah, 82. I didn't see so, that movie until yeah, I was in So adult. that was like one of the big things that got PG-13 created, according to some article I read some time ago. Um, hmm. But uh, what was I just going to say? I just completely drew a blank. Yeah. When did that start happening? Yeah, I, I I remember I remember as, as, as a kid that uh, my memory's never been good, but it was better than it is now. I'm I'm practically a fucking goldfish. Oh yeah, no, my memory has never been good, and it's only gotten worse, and it will only continue to get worse as I age until my Alzheimer's kicks in. Uh, all the memory cams we smoke out of. The the funniest things. Yeah, you know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> The, the funniest, <laughs> the, the funniest thing is like, if, you know, if even with all like the, the, the stuff I've done, it never my memory's always been shit. I, I don't. I, it's just natural, like you said. Yeah. Well, and like that's a really big um, symptom of ADHD too. Is like no short term memory, and uh, I swear, if my parents ever cared when I was younger, I probably would have been diagnosed pretty early on um because i can't remember shit ever can't pay attention ever like finishing things is so hard i do like five things at once if i ever want to finish any one thing but that was a big thing and dealing with you know my daughter and trying to like why why didn't you do the thing i asked you to do well i forgot it's like i literally just told you two minutes ago and instead of going to do the thing you went and played video <laughs> like what do you mean you forgot but I remember I used to get that when I was young all the time too. I forgot. Oh, what do you mean you forgot? I'm like, well, 
tell me to do something this morning before school and expect me to remember to do it after school is just not going to happen. Right. Yeah. So now as I've gotten older, trying to remember what I walked into the other room for is <laughs> just not even going to happen. <laughs> Like I, I write shit down. I've got so many notes on my phone. Like I constantly delete it going, why did I write this? Because it was a note I wrote four weeks to myself to do something. Like it's, if, if my phone's ever stolen, I'm going to be fucked. Yeah. I've definitely put everything in my calendar now. Cause I will totally forget to do things. Um, it's with alarms. Yeah. You know, have alarms on everything I'm supposed to do. I set an alarm or I forget. Oh, I drive, I drive my wife nuts with my alarms. Hold on. Let's see how many alarms I actually have. Cause I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's all throughout the day. That's, that's, that's before I wake up. That's okay. Now you need to leave. You really need to leave. Okay. Get the fuck out of the house. You know, then I have like, I, I have everything. Cause otherwise like I'll just, space it like for work specifically i've got an alarm to go to lunch alarm to come back to lunch alarm to go on break <laughs> yeah i need to do more stuff around work i just i need to start wearing my watch that's my biggest issue my schedule so bizarre that I'm hello james are you there Bree? Hello. Wow. I sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. We're having some interesting technical issues. Sorry about what? <laughs> Bree and I are having our own conversation. I know. We'll just have our own conversation. Hey, that's, we'll talking about books. That's that, <laughs> Hey, that's not fair. I I I'm here sitting alone in a, in a, in a freezing studio where you two are having a fun conversation. What is your sister? My sister was too cold, so she had to leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> she so disappeared I'm, a while ago. I hadn't heard from her in a while. Yeah, so I'm I'm the only person here wishing my my uh, tablet was working correctly. So mm -hmm. I'm 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 all by my lonesome. Uh, speaking of books, Bree, have you watched the Wheel of Time show on Amazon yet? I watched the first episode. Um, I'm only in the fourth book, and for some reason, it's just taken me a really. I'm having a really hard time sitting down and reading it lately. Uh, okay. So yeah. I started reading the first book last year sometime. Yeah. And then I got distracted by a bunch of other books. Yeah, me too. And yeah. so... I, I read something in between them because oh, they're yeah. such long books. So I'll read one book and then I'll read something short and then I'll read another book and then I'll read something short. And the last short book that I started reading ended up being crap and I didn't even finish it. <laughs> um and then I just haven't really been reading during the day as much. And uh, I sat down and like read a chapter today. But yeah, I'm trying to, you know, I mean, I, I hope they're only doing like, you know, one book equals one season or something like that. Um, so, I'm not too sure. I, so, I, like I said, I was in the first book and it seems like they're skipping around a bunch. Because I was like, I was. Yeah, uh, 250 so, pages in, and I haven't even gotten to where the last episode leaves off. So I'm still I, not even I mean, there. I'm only I only watched the first episode, and I already started off with like, Karen has a wife or something like. Yeah, some what? they killed. He was supposed to be, isn't he? Like, hopelessly Michael. awkward around girls in the book in the first book. Yeah. Like, yeah. don't they mention that like a lot? See, yeah. I, I feel kind of bad because Jeff, uh, our dearly departed former co-host, mentioned the book to me and how much he loved it. And I read the first hundred pages and just never read it ever again. Just because I, I just. Yeah, I, I had a hard time getting into it. I am into it now. Yeah. But initially, cool. like, I, like John, I, I think I've read more than John, but. Uh, I'm about halfway through the book now, and I'm like, you know, I'm starting to like it. But like, yeah, initially I was like, this is not grabbing my attention. Yeah, it's a little bit of a slow start, and I feel like every book is a little bit of a slow start. Um, and I, I read the first book many, many years ago. I'm talking like 20 years ago. <laughs> and then, but I was reading another series at the time that was a little too similar. And if oh, okay. I read them at the same time, I would get super lost. So I stopped reading those and I finished reading what I 
was reading and then I just never picked them back up. And then I've been wanting to read them and I just haven't. So I went to the used bookstore. I picked up, they had like one through four and then they had like seven, eight, nine or something like that. So I picked up one through four and when I went to go back to get more, the bookstore is gone. Uh, I was like, damn it. Um, so I have to yeah. find them. I'm going to borrow them from a, one of my friends, but like I, they're good. The story's really good. It definitely drags at times. And they're just, I mean, they're such long books. They're really, really long. So you didn't, you yeah, know, it's the one I'm reading right now is like 700 and something pages. And that's just the first book. Yeah. And I hear it goes more, goes a few better, longer. So are you, what are you reading now? Hey, hold on. Ad break. <laughs> no. hey, are, are you all tired of things that drag on like books or even work? We got a perfect thing for you. Check out our sponsor. Today's show is brought to you by Audacity. The game where dignity is overrated. Go to O-D-D-A-S-S-I-T-Y.com. That's O-D-D-A-S-S-I-T-Y.com. Pick up a card game from this website or selected stores. That's Audacity, the unforgettable party game for mischievous people. And do me a favor, this is special just to us. Get 10% off your final order. Use MADTRIO, all caps, all one word, for 10% off your final order at ODDSSITY.com. Ad breaks over, y'all. Nope. Okay. So, anyway. Anyway. Yeah, I hate that bookstore they're shutting down. That was so so disappointing. It was a really cute little bookstore. It made me really sad. There's still that huge one, uh, Bookworm, over... Um, in Fair Oaks, and okay. they didn't have any of them when I went in there. I was like, oh. "Wow!" Of all the things, and then like you go to like, or or some places will have like the newer editions. I'm like, I have the first four of like the original cover art and like the size and shape. They were at least like the same size. I I could move on yeah. to a new edition, but it really bothers me when I have a set of books and they're all different sizes, like misshaped. And yeah, I get yeah. that. I I, like, have... I want to go get the old ones that are used that are the same. eBay. Yeah, cool. and if if it comes down to it, that's probably where I'll go. Although I haven't created a new eBay account since mine since mine got taken over. Um. Well. I, I, oh yeah, I got so screwed when I was in the hospital for having my surgery. I like got on and looked at my email, and I had like nine hundred spam emails. Oof. And I got like a text from PayPal that was like, "Did you just buy this four hundred dollars computer from eBay?" I was like, uh, "No." <laughs> so I got like, uh, yeah, give me my four hundred dollars now. <laughs> what? I would say give me my four hundred dollars back. I got it back. No, PayPal okay. totally like did their fraud thing. The money never went anywhere paypal set it down then they disconnected from the ebay account and i was never able to get back into the ebay account okay i i I, 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 might still have an ebay account i don't know i've been in there a long time i didn't start using it until i started collecting ancient disney stuff and now i'm on ebay all the time looking at things i want to get which is ridiculous (laughs) like all of a sudden like i found a phone from a one of the Disney resorts, like a room phone that I thought would be fun to have for just shits oh and giggles. God. And I realized, wait, what you the need f- to get, Like, this is... You need to get the ashtray. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, there was one I wanted, but literally did not get it in time. So uh-huh. there's, there, there's a specific, the specific Disney ashtray that I want to find again. Um, yeah. and, and the funniest thing is, I think what happened is some woman must have put it in her purse because half this shit's not, like, does not leave Disney. I oh, found it's so stolen from the resort. I I found a um a cigar a Disney cigar shop wrapper like just the band that goes around the tip of the huh. cigar and something I was selling for like fifty bucks. It's like I think that's clever, but wow. I'm unless there's a cigar that's attached to it. Gonna, yeah, who the hell is gonna buy a freaking thing for that much? I mean, yeah, things on eBay in very strange ways. And oh, it's well, really hard to compare when you go to sell something. So it's like, well, is that the price it's selling for, or is that just the price they're asking? So well, I have, have a Japanese, I have a Japanese samurai sword from World War II that I got for a dollar on eBay. So <laughs> that's weird. I mean, the shipping made up for the dollar, but <laughs> that was the cheapest, expensive, cheapest, most expensive sword in history. Well, so that's how they get you on a lot of those things on eBay too. Is they're like it's ninety nine cents, but shipping fourteen ninety five. Oh, I wish it was fourteen ninety five. Get this ninety nine cent shirt. 
but you pay fourteen ninety five in shipping. So right, the uh, quality of the shirt is still ninety nine cents. The thing that's well, uh, ninety nine dollars in shipping, right? Well, no, I know. I was just using <laughs> so, your example. Disney stuff. Because yeah. they like to price things at super, super cheap, but then they jack up the shipping costs. Like, you might exactly. as well price the item for what it's worth to begin with and do low shipping, and it'll actually attract more people if you pay free shipping, even if the thing's expensive. Disney stuff yeah. is pretty evergreen. I don't know about some of the ephemera that I collect because I'm after odd shit that most people don't collect. Um, however,. I saw somebody collect a, a side of a broken rocking chair because it had a picture of Donald Duck. So maybe just Disney people are crazy. Yes, Disney people are crazy. Um, but it, it, it is that's never. That's not in question. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. I mean, I bought I bought a, a map from Disneyland from 1968, 1969. That was twenty dollars. Yeah. But then I framed it for twenty times what I paid. <laughs> for the fucking map. Right. Um, no, my wife was my wife was pissed, but it was like, but honey, I, I could. It's like, wait, you paid what? What? How much? It's like, but but it's a okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I I love eBay. Like right now, I'm looking for a bunch of Hanna Barbera stuff since I started paying for it, so I could show my son. But now, since they, whoever was uh, producing it, actually stopped repro- you know uh, making it. So now some of the stuff's getting fifty to sixty dollars for some of the shows I want. Yeah. Jeez. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. It is. And it's funny too, because it's not like I get any time to watch this shit. Like I'm, I'm buying it just so at some point I may get a chance to watch it with my son. I mean, like the rest of my DVD collection, it's just collecting dust. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, my stuff is doing about the same too. I yeah. don't, I mean, I watched some of it, but I not as much anymore. It's all like streaming now. I have been, <coughs> I've been, I've been ripping mine because I own a physical copy, which illegally by us law allows me to produce a copy for myself, um, on a Plex yeah. server. So I am basically making my own Netflix. So that's end up how I, how I consume a lot of my DVDs now that I personally own is I'll put them on Plex server and then I'll watch it, you know, on my phone when I'm in bed because that's the only time I get a chance to watch anything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, There's certain things. It's funny. So, you know, we're on Disney plus and they have a lot of the classics. They have like the super cheesy old star Wars movies from the eighties, which I loved as a kid. And I watched with my daughter and she was like, why are we watching this? Because Ewoks, that's why. Battle of Endor is awesome. Yeah. Like it's, it's awesome. Um, giant claymation, whatever the monster was in the first one was hilarious. The Rancor? Rancor. It was, a, was it a Rancor? I don't think it was. I mean, it was some, some kind of weird... The monster that was Oh, I know what you No, no, not, not those Star Wars movies. The Caravan of Courage. The Dindo. Um... So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm being out geeked here. So that that's 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 that. I know what she's talking about now. Yeah, they're oh, on Disney wow. Plus. Yeah, the Ewoks cartoon is on there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. like everything but the Christmas special. And actually, oh. I think they have an animated version of the Christmas special. I have the Christmas special. Do you want? Do you, I don't, I've never seen it. <laughs> um, You're not missing much, to be honest. <laughs> no, that's what I've heard. I, how, <laughs> how, we don't have. Come on, um, Jefferson Starship's in it. How bad can it be? Starship is awesome. However, <laughs> however, watching that special slightly intoxicated or heavily intoxicated actually sounds a lot of fun, <laughs> to be completely honest. That does, that does sound fun. Um, but no, so they have a lot of, you know, goofy stuff like that. They have like all the Marvel movies, except Spider-Man. Yeah. They don't, they have the Spider-Man cartoons, but they don't have any of the Spider-Man movies. I'm like, okay. Because oh, Sony uh, owns them all. Yeah, which is weird because they have, you know, I, I expected them to have the newer Spider-Man movies. Maybe not the Tobey Maguire's, but the newer ones, and they don't. Um, but they also don't have, like, uh, I was looking for Thomasina. Do you remember the, the movie Thomasina? It's about a cat. Sounds familiar. And it like, comes back to life, I think. Um, but I just remember loving that movie as a kid. And, like, they have all those other movies that are like that, like The Cat from Outer Space and, like, that kind of stuff. But they don't have Thomasina, which made me sad. Um, and the other one that I wish they had that they don't have is The Watcher in the Woods, which hmm. is one of those weird, obscure Disney horror movies that no one's ever heard of. 
that my grandma had the video and my sister and I used to watch it over and over and over again. Um, so I rented it from Netflix. They actually had the DVD and watched it with Sienna. And now Sienna is always wanting to watch it too. So <laughs> she keeps asking if it's on Disney Plus. I'm like, no, it's not. And it sucks because they have a lot of weird stuff on there. But the, they don't have that one. The weirdest. And it's got Betty Davis in it. Like, you know, it's, you know, it's weird about listen. that. They don't have that yet. They have Melody Time, which is an obscure thing from 1948 yeah. that my son actually really isn't really isn't really enjoys. Like we uh, we recently stopped okay. um, subscribing to uh, Disney Plus just to save costs, and I, I'm yeah. buying some of it because like he liked and like they have that, but they don't have. Oh my God! I actually know what this is. <laughs> yeah. What uh, I wow the so, Watcher in the Woods. 19. And so what I found out when I ordered it or when I watched the one on Netflix and it got to the end and it was weird as hell. And I realized, I looked it up, it had an alternate ending. Hmm. So the one on Netflix has the weird ass alternate ending. Um, the one that we always watch, basically there's like the swap at the end and everything is good. We're back we're happy in the alternate end you should really look it up if you haven't if you know the movie and you don't know how weird the ending is look up the watcher in the woods alternate ending and don't do any drugs first <laughs> <laughs> get your drugs later it is so bizarre but it also explains what the watcher is what i normally because that was one thing that I found from the movie is that it never really got into what the watcher really was. Um, so here's, yeah, here's, the dis- weird, here's, here's the description. When a normal American family moves into a beautiful old English house in a wooded area, strange paranormal appearances befall them in, okay. Them in this interesting twist to a well-known haunted house tale. The daughter Jan sees, and daughter Alice hears the voice of a young teenage girl who mysteriously disappeared during a total solar eclipse decades before. Hmm. So yeah. he, here's the tags, by the way. This is on IMDb. Uh, IMDb. They tag it as teenage girl, occult, female protagonist, haunted house, psychotronic film. Is this the, is the top? Sounds to- about right. <laughs> yeah. I've seen this, but it's been... Um, matter of fact, this movie might've given me nightmares. <laughs> yeah. It's creepy. It's creepy. And we used to watch it all the time. And most people I know have never even heard of it. So I'm stoked that you've seen it, but look up the alternate ending because it's weird. <laughs> it's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. I think this looks so um, familiar. I'm going to have to see if I can actually watch clips of it. Cause it, the cast is interesting too. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a trip, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I got to the end. I'm like, I feel like I would have remembered this. <laughs> I, I, I find... texted my sister and I was like, you got to watch this. And she was like, holy crap. Um, yeah, that was not on our VHS tape, that's for sure. I, or maybe it was and grandma just didn't show us that version. I don't know. Disney Plus is interesting. It's got to be a rights issue because... Um, yeah. Melody Time, for example, has like there's scene where uh, the Painted Desert. There's a scene with, in this cartoon with the Painted Desert, and Indians are chasing after this person, and that's how the Painted Desert happens. So there's there's things mm-hmm. that you would think that, that Disney would not include, and so it's got to be a rights issue because I don't see them because they're trying to put as much content on there as possible because they're they're not getting the subscribers they want, like the continuous continuous growth. I well, do. I mean, if you're like me, you just piggyback off of other people. I'm splitting um, different streaming services with different people. Like Nicole pays for Disney Plus, I pay for Hulu, <coughs> and and we share as long as we're allowed to. <coughs> um, I just took to stop paying it. So I'm like, well, I'll pay it this time around, and you oh, know, yeah. we'll just kind of flip flop. Um, yeah, because it's like you start paying for all of these ridiculous streaming services and it just starts getting out of hand. Yeah. The- and like, like, you know, she's like, oh, have you watched the new Dexter yet? I'm like, I'm not paying for freaking Showtime just to watch one yep. show. And I because really they're only it, releasing them it. one a week, you can't, you know, do a free trial and binge it. Yeah. 
although you can through Dish anyways, they had the free preview weekend and you can um, download on demand during the free preview weekend. So I have watched what's out so far, which is cool. How is it? Um, it's, I mean, it's a lot slow starter. Um, yeah. It's kind of like, show, kinda, yeah, it, it, yeah. I mean, I think it tracks. Um, I mean, we only watched the first three episodes, but I have the other two on the DVR to watch tonight. Right, but yeah. yeah, it's, I mean, it yeah. looks like it's going to be good. My own. I want to watch it, but I just, I'm not what you used to. I, I have HBO, Netflix, Disney, Prime. And I think that's it. I, and yeah. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm like, no, I'm done. I'm not going to. Because there's like a shit ton of streaming services still that I haven't even gotten to. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm not well, doing it. And so Hulu has all of the like primetime shows. Dish right now doesn't even have ABC. Like they haven't had it for like a month. Uh, but all those shows are on Hulu. Uh, so. Because okay. like, that's makes you know, sense. And we it's have Discovery Plus. We have like a free year of Discovery Plus, which Justin likes. And, you know, I watch whatever the sitcoms are on Hulu, and there's a lot of old stuff on there, too, that you can watch. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, like, we we keep talking. We need to just get rid of Dish because between Discovery Plus and Hulu, we've got everything there that we watch on TV through Dish. So yeah. there's no point in paying over 100 and whatever dollars for Dish. And you're already paying about that much on the streaming. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm see at this point all I do is watch like old TV shows. I wish somebody would just license all the old TV shows from like 1995 and back and I'll just pay $30, $50 a month for that cuz that's all I watch. Like So a lot of that stuff is on Hulu. I'll have to take a look again. There is really a lot of stuff on Hulu, a lot of the older stuff. There's not like I was hoping like Growing Pains is on there and it's not. They have the old Wonder Years, they have the new Wonder Years. They have I love Lucy, you know, they, they have a bunch of random stuff. Um, I've actually had to we buy We watched some like, my name is Earl. Sienna Love, my name is Earl. Um, uh, that's always worth a rewatch. Well, like, like for, and, for, for example, like my favorite show right now is from like 1950, 1960 called Combat. Like my dad used to watch it as a kid and I, I couldn't, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I actually had to buy the DVD series and put up my Plex server. So I watched that all the time or Adam 12 or like, like all the TV shows I enjoy because they're kind of mindless. I've seen Adam 12 on something. I wonder it might've been a weird dish channel, but it also might've been on Hulu. It's, it's on, Um, it's on, it's, it's on anytime there's a classic TV station. It's, it's on every, it's on that. Yeah. That might have been where I saw it. There's there's this one channel on Dish that plays a lot of the older stuff. And it plays a lot of the same stuff that's on a lot of other channels too. But the formatting of the screen is so jacked up that it is impossible to watch it. Have you checked out? Like they've taken stuff that was made for widescreen and made it square. Ugh. So it's all stretched out and like takes up, you know, the middle part of your screen. It's like, why? Why did you do this? Have you watched uh, Pluto TV? I also watch a lot of that. No, Pluto's cool. It's just, there, there's oddly enough, I watched hours of the My Tiny House TV shows because there's like a tiny house TV, and being a guy who's an, uh, a drafter, I really love that. So I've I've literally sat down all day and watched people build tiny homes, which is ridiculous as a guy who's six five. Wow, that's kind of an embarrassing pause break. Wow, um, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hold on, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are having an interesting time here. Uh, I don't know if this show is going to make it. So, oop. hold on, Bree, are you there? Hold on. Okay, hold on. This uh, this show may not may, may not make it to air because it's it's been uh, it's been interesting. Hold on one second. Usually I can fill up a lot of dead airspace, but it has not been. There you go. They... Hold on one second. Wow, this, this show has been, uh... I might keep it on just for laughs. This show has been horrible. <laughs> Te- technology wise. <laughs> you had wise. a good run for a while there. It was going all right. Yeah, on my end, I, on my end for James, I heard every fifth word. It was like, and <laughs> the movie book sucked. 
like what? Wait, I, I missed something there. <laughs> you missed a lot of things, John. Well, yeah. I am I am hard of hearing. I can't exactly help it. I blame. <laughs> go see Nicole. You get some some miracle ears. Seriously, I blame. Uh, I blame the the band council, even though technically I had issues beforehand. But I'm blaming it on falling Dude, asleep next to them. I used to them. stand right in front of the speakers at those shows, and my hearing is fine, so you don't get to blame them. I fell asleep next to <laughs> one. I literally woke up the like however long later, and everybody sounded like the parents from the Peanuts. Like, wah, wah. It's like whoa. Nice. Uh, well, yeah, no, I used to stand right up at the speakers at those shows. For some reason, I would die now. <laughs> I won't even go to a concert unless they have seats. <laughs> it's 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 funny. I was thinking about that. It's like as I remember when I was a kid, I loved getting pit tickets. It was nothing about being in the pit, but it was the best place to hear the music. And now I'm like, fuck, I don't know if I could stand for two hours <laughs> without oh, being dude, in pain. I, seriously, like there's all these like good like punk bands and stuff that I'd love to go see, but they only play festivals. I'm like, I no. I need to sit down. <laughs> I yeah. need to park my butt, drink my drink. Not get jostled, not get things spilled on me, not get sweat on. Like, no, I just, I don't know. It's it's funny. And in a few more years, we're all going to be passing hits of Metamucil watching our next concert, concert, concert together. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's all right. I'm still younger than both of you. So. <laughs> well, James, you know, this is true. James is the the next oldest. He's, he's soon going to be over the hill. Yep. No. Nope. Um. I'm only 32. <laughs> well, fuck, that's a hard 32. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> hey, both of you shut up. <laughs> if you're 32, you had a lot of fun. Hey, I couldn't walk when I was 32, but now I can, you know, it took a few months. <laughs> it, it, it's like, it's like that, that Bill Ingvill joke. He talks about he doesn't want to look good when he dies. He wants people to like open the casket and go, Jesus. It, James is close. Yeah, that's all right. I keep saying I'm going to get fat, but it's not happening yet. But I think if I got fat, I wouldn't be able to walk because my knees are really bad. Yeah, probably not. Like I gained like five pounds. I'm like, oh no, there go my knees. <laughs> that's that's funny. You talk about that. I lost fifty pounds. Like, man, my knees don't hurt as much as they used to. <laughs> it, it's, it's amazing how much of a difference it makes, really. I still have no energy, but now I'm not in pain. So I can, yeah, I can lay down and sleep. That's nice. Laying down sounds nice. Oh, I <laughs> Sleeping without being in pain sounds nice. Like I can only sleep on one side. My shoulder that I had surgery on still hurts if I sleep on it. So uh, I like stuck on my one side. So then my neck hurts. But also like, my back is so jacked up. Like if Justin puts his hand like on my side, it seriously feels like somebody's squishing me. It's like being compressed. And like, there's not enough weight in his one hand to cause that. <laughs> you know? It's the weirdest feeling. But, you know, being old, it is what it is, I guess. I, yeah. I just think it's funny after all the years I made fun of my dad and his friends about being over the hill and I'm at the same fucking age and having the same goddamn problems. It's like, what happened to me? I used to be relatively pain-free. Oh. Now I get I up and I've it's... I've never been pain-free. I, I have, but I, I but now it sounds like the Battle of Dunkirk, just standing up. Oh, snaps and crackles. Oh my my poor God. kid is like well on her way. She doesn't have like pain issues so much, but she pops like a box of rice krispies <laughs> like oh that's my kid with those joints like gonna you know, have the same joint problems i mean my knees uh, were already hurting when i was her age and it's like loose joints tight muscles that's what like going to physical therapy they're like well your range of motion is so extreme like it's gonna take a while to get back there but then like my muscles are so so tight that like they don't allow that like actual flexibility it's the weirdest freaking freakiest thing and it's such a pain in the butt. Like, you know, can we just not? <laughs> we have similar issues. I, I have well, like, I'm incredibly flexible, but like certain parts, like, because my joints are loose, but my muscles are constantly tense mm -hmm. because I'm stressed and then my, mus my, my ligaments are loose. Yeah. So I feel like, honestly, it's the only reason that things aren't dislocating on me all the time. Like my mom <laughs> and my sister both have a knee that'll pop out. Like I've never had anything like that. And honestly, I think it's because all of my muscles in my entire body are so tight all the time. 
but nothing moves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that that that's convenient. It's uh, I know, like you know, count my blessings, I guess. It's like Mr. Burns on The Simpsons. The reason he hasn't died yet is all the diseases are fighting to fighting to get through the door together. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming up to an end of this glitch-filled episode. So, I got one more ad for y'all. Okay. Do you want to keep up to date on the maddest of the mad at the Mad Trio podcast? Check out our social media feeds on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or go to themadtrio.com. And, and to quote Ryan, it's kind of laughable, but that I say we're the maddest of the mad when we're all kind of maybe a slow simmer. Um, <laughs> if you really want to hear us mad, there are a couple of topics I could bring up. But so Yeah, we didn't get any of those. I, there were a couple I wanted to talk to about, and I just like, as soon as I got here, I'm like, I just don't know, have the energy to talk about COVID. <laughs> yeah, seems to be it's kind of nice having a COVID free conversation. Honestly, it doesn't happen very often anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's everywhere. I'm going to the grocery store. Oh, there's a new COVID. <laughs> and then you hear somebody talk about presidential politics and here it's like, when I was a kid, this never happened. Nobody ever talked politics out in the open. I'm, I'm yeah, people used to get mad. If you ask them about politics, like you ask your parents who you voted for, that's none of your business. And now they won't shut up about it. Yeah. Like, what happened? Can we go back to where that was none of my business? I'm going to start talking <laughs> to Thea about theology to some of these people. Cause if they're going to talk about their <laughs> bad policies, I'm going to talk about the, uh, I'm going to talk about theology. Yeah. Which, which apparently is TikTok. I don't know if y'all have checked out TikTok, but it's hilarious. I will not get on TikTok. So TikTok is no. I, I ignore TikTok. TikTok. I've spent a ridiculous amount of time on TikTok because I find it hilarious, and it's um, it's like why it's like being in high school but not being ah. stuck in any of the drama. It's it's hilarious because you're watching. Yeah, I get TikTok people videos fight. sent to me pretty regularly from a couple people that are on it all the time, and that's. That's the extent of my TikTok film. <laughs> uh, once in a while. I, don't know. I deal with kids all the time. Like I'm in school all day. I, you know, I had a kid in high school. Like I hear about all this crap that's on TikTok and I just, it's just ridiculous. It's a waste of time. It's, you know, damaging to the psyche of millions of children worldwide. Like <laughs> the most am- parents sit apart in your school. You know, the, mis- to class. the most amazing thing about TikTok, like, it's all guy. It's all like, like adult guys and adult women. And it's weird to me that I'm watching, like there's some cool DIY stuff, but it's just a bunch of adults bitching. And then yeah. you get, then you get the random gay and then trans person. It's just like, really, it's just, this is, it's like YouTube, but in a minute and a half. Well, yeah. But so here's the thing is it's going to target your preferences. So the more you watch old people bitching, the more videos of old people bitching are going to get sent your way. Really? <laughs> There's a lot of other stuff on there. That's just not what you're looking at. Huh? I'm going to have to find something other than the old people bitching. However, there's this really awesome, uh, autistic chick who, uh, who's probably the most wholesome thing I've actually watched in 20 years is watching her, her channel page, whatever you call it. Mm-hmm. And then TikTok bander. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Yeah. Huh. Um, weird. I, social media sucks. I'm, if it wasn't for the show and some of the other stuff I do, I probably in staying in t- contact with friends, I probably wouldn't be on social media. I think if I didn't live so far away from everybody, I wouldn't be on it so much either. See, right now you don't live far away from me. You should need this just to stop by, but I'm not quite sure if I'm the person <laughs> you want to see most of the time. <laughs> You are not in stop by range. <laughs> <laughs> you are definitely closer than yeah. I am, but the, the route that it takes to get to you. You're not around the corner for her job. No. <laughs> the only way time you're ever on my way anywhere is if I'm going to Placerville and then I'm on a mission because it takes me over an hour to get there. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm on your way to, to visit range more than James. Yeah. True. <laughs> You you that could you could you couldn't go visit James unless you really needed to. But see, the nice thing about where James is living is, for a while, I could kill three birds with one stone. True. <laughs> now it's just and go two. Visit all of you guys, and now I mean, is Jeremy ever even home? Or when he is home, is he you know not? He, he's hiding in his room. the bear or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, so yeah. Now you guys are out there. I'm really missing my D and D game since Ron's gone off the radar. Yeah, he has. Radio silence. <laughs> well, like, okay. 
So I actually talk about D and D, and we're we're actually over time. But I actually found a D and D style game on Oculus Play on my Oculus uh, Quest, and I've actually been playing that a lot. That's cool. So it's you, there's a Skyrim one too. I don't know. See, like there, there's even a Resident Evil, and there's only so much I can take yeah. without having to uh, need a bucket near me. Because my my wife bought a roller coaster game, which I'd love to get a bunch of people to try. Because the moment I try it, I I instantly need to stop. But, yeah, that sounds bad to me. I get nauseous super easily nowadays. Like vertigo, really, like all of a sudden too. I've never used to have that issue, but in the last couple of years, it's gotten really bad. Oh my god! Like, you, you, I'm afraid. <laughs> like boats. Huh? I, I went on this mystery, mm-hmm. miss mystery dinner on the Delta King or Delta Queen, whatever it is in Sacramento. Oh, mystery dinner. What's that? I want to go to a mystery dinner. That sounds awesome. Oh, it was. It was. I've always wanted to do one. It's on the. I've think, always wanted to do one too, but I've never had anybody who wants to go with me. Oh, see, like my, my Laura wanted to go. And so I saw this, like, let's do this. This sounds fun. And it was, it was an absolute blast. Um, but for like a day and a half later, I felt like I was on a boat, but I want to do it again. It was a lot of fun. I just got to take drama. Mean. Yeah. Drama. Mean knocked me out. Like I, I totally get motion sick, but I cannot take that stuff or I will just fall asleep. Oh, but like horrible. we've been on like a whale watching thing out in uh out on Catalina and I was fine. Um but we went out on like one of the boats up in Tahoe and I was like, ugh <laughs> So it's really hit and miss. I mean I'll totally get huh. car sick. I don't throw up, I just get nauseous and then I get a migraine. Which sucks because then I'm like down for the rest of the day. Oh uh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. So you know, it's it's just really hit and miss. But Oh, I don't know what to do. I just kind of try and pick my battles. Although, like, I went on, you know, we Megan and I went to Disneyland. We went to California Adventure, and I remember going on the Tower of Terror before, and I was so nauseous. And I went on it this time, and it, I was fine. Huh. Well, yeah. man, I go on elevators, and I can feel it, like, 20 minutes after. It's like, what happened to me? Nothing <laughs> used to phase me. Now I'm, I'm, um, I'm an old guy who's falling apart, who pays way too close attention to politics. It's like, this is not fair. Yeah. Dude, you might just have an inner ear thing, honestly. If you can't hear and you're getting nauseous that easily, you should go get your ears checked. I, that'll mess you up. Yeah, probably should. Ah, oh, cool. I, I'm going to forward you that the the dinner thing I went to, Bree. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Because I, I want to go again. It was it was a lot of fun. Besides the fact downtown sack is a absolute dumpster fire. Nightmare. Yeah, um, that is true. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the California Pariah, the America original, Heather Charney, Bree and James, as always, thank you for listening. Goodbye. Adios.